Hey guys, this will be a fun story. This is a story of basically how in my college, I dropped out of biomedical engineering and switched to computer engineering. Yeah, I used to be a biology person, researching things like bugs and bats and viruses and all those kinds of yucky things. So I'll tell you why I dropped out of that thing and it will be an interesting story. Mm -hmm. So basically, it was a very pivotal decision in my early college life. This is because normally for people, when they start college, they have at least like one to one and a half years when they can still decide if the major is worth it for them. I mean, basically, if they don't think that the major is good, they are still taking general education courses. General education means that these are courses that you take regardless of what major you're taking. For example, like everybody has to take math and every engineer has to take physics and they need to take chemistry, you need to take a basic writing course. So all of those things, all majors need to do. But for me, I finished high school having completed a lot of those general education electives through AP tests. Because of that, I literally had just one semester of leeway to make my decision. And if I was late by even one semester, then it would have pushed up my graduation date by at least another semester. So it was really important for me to decide right away. Now, originally, I wanted to be a biomedical engineer because honestly, I didn't have a good reason. In my high school, I felt like, oh man, like I really like the maths and I really like engineering, but I feel like, oh, I'm pretty good at biology. I had a five on my AP bio test. So if I'm good at math and I'm good at engineering and I'm good at bio, this is a cool thing called biomedical engineering where I feel like I can exercise my skills and be really smart in all of those things. So honestly, I wasn't thinking about the jobs. I wasn't thinking about the career progression. I just had some belief that I can go into some tough field and as long as I study and I can get a degree from a tough university, then I can get a job. I learned that a lot of those things aren't true and I'll go over more into how I learned those things in this story. So I started off the degree with my first biology course in the whole degree of biomedical engineering. And I was really excited for this one. I mean, it's basically like an intro to molecular biology. And in my high school, I got a five on AP bio, which is like the top score you can get. I thought that an intro course in bio, I'll totally ace this one. And when I came into my first lecture, the people were asking questions like, what's a gene? And they didn't know what like basic things like genes were. So I was thinking, wow, I mean, if people don't know what genes are, this is totally gonna be an easy course. And that is my famous last words. It started off with asking what a gene was. And then it came to all of these complicated, really technical biological stuff that you basically had to spend hours and hours memorizing everything. And I had no idea what was going on. I would practice studying with my friends and all of us would get together and we would just say like, oh man, I'm confused. We would have weekly quizzes where we can see and evaluate our progress they didn't count towards much, but when I did the weekly quizzes, I saw I was getting like only 40% of the questions right. So I was thinking, wow, this is absolutely difficult. So the worst thing is the bio labs. And let me explain just how bio labs are. Bio labs are basically where you try to apply the knowledge you learn in class to actually make something and actually apply your science. So in the bio labs, these are kind of like the real life version of Overcooked. If you don't know the game Overcooked, it's basically where like you are cooking a bunch of different ingredients, the customers are getting mad and you have to cook like these very complicated dishes. And if you don't cook them in time, they're going to get their pitchforks and start coming after you. So you better go and act really quickly. That's basically how the bio lab is, where the customer is like the teacher's assistant. You're cooking the different ingredients of all of the different biological chemicals and then you have to put it together to actually make the thing for the teacher to grade and it has to be good. So the problem is that these bio labs are timed. You are only given like a fixed time and you're they are basically no redos. If you mess up a step, then you're basically done. So I'd be working with my lab partner and we'd be like trying to read the instructions, trying to even figure out what is going on. And then it would basically be like, I would uh, get something messed up because all of the measurements would not be coming out right. So once all the measurements wouldn't come out right, then our TAs would kind of feel bad for us. So then at the end of the lab, they would give us a new solution to work with for our next lab because you have to carry over the products of your first lab to the second lab. 
So we mess up the solution for the first lab, they give us something new for the second lab, and then for the second lab, they give us something new for the third lab because we messed up the thing that they gave us for the second lab. So basically, it's kind of like every time we mess up like the cooking dish, we, they give us something new to work with, and then we keep adding more poison to it. So that's basically how those bio labs went. The, the next thing that happened was when I had the midterms and the final exams. These midterms and final exams, we have two midterms and one final. For both of my midterms, I got 70% on my midterms, C's. And I was thinking, oh man, please, please just give me something good for the final so I can save my grade. And then for the final exam, I finished with a B. So I'm looking at the end of the year and I'm thinking two C's for the midterms, a B for the final. What's my final grade going to come out? I'm looking at the grade report sheet and I'm thinking, please, please, I pray it's going to be a B minus. Somehow, out of no reason whatsoever, I get a B plus in the course. None of the math adds up. And that's when I learned my first lesson that colleges, they scale their courses. So I got lucky for that. But that basically gave me some nightmares about biology that I still have to this day. Basically, like bio, that course taught me that I'm not really the right fit for a bio course. In fact, the friends who were struggling with me at the beginning of the semester, they ended up acing the course. And I thought, how are you guys doing so well? And it turns out basically for biology, you really have to enjoy memorizing a bunch of things and you can't think that they're boring. For me, I like math because you can actually like apply something from first principles, but for biology, you have to just straight up enjoy memorizing different proteins. <coughs> so they like that. So, I mean, that's something that I can't learn to like. All right, so that's the first thing. The core is just giving me some fear about the major biomedical engineering. But what's the next thing that made me want to switch? Well, I was working on a research project with a professor that I met at the beginning of the school year. And it was related to machine learning and artificial intelligence. And he decided to ask me one day, oh, what major are you actually studying for your degree? I told him biomedical engineering. And he said, are you serious? Biomedical engineering? Why would you be doing that? You s seem to enjoy machine learning computers. Biomedical engineering is the last thing that you should be doing. So basically, he just straight up told me to switch. And then that's what got me really thinking, oh man, this guy, old guy, probably very wise, he's telling me to switch majors. And then I went into researching about staying in the major of biomedical engineering. Is it really worth it? And what did I find? Of all the different engineering that I could have done in my college, biomedical engineering is the one that gets paid the least for graduates coming out of that degree. The other thing is that they are basically pigeonholed into going into like these bio companies. So then I felt like, what if I don't want to do bio companies? Because like you're getting really specific about this particular type of engineering. So then a combination of getting the lowest pay and being pigeonholed into bio companies, I was starting to think that this wasn't right for me. So I told my parents like, Hey dad, I, Thinking, I'm thinking I want to switch out of biomedical engineering. I want to switch to computer engineering. And what did he say? He said, Joey, the only reason why you want to switch out of BME is because you're lazy. He said, you want to switch because you didn't study in your course. You're getting bad grades. And when you don't study and are lazy, of course you won't like it. But he said, if you study, then you'll learn to like it. And I think that it's not something you can just say about everything. So anyways, I thought about it more and more. And finally, the day I solidified my decision, I was having lunch with my parents. And I told them, hey, look, here's the data. It's hard to find a job with BME. The pay is lower. Here are the kind of jobs you can get with it. I really want to switch. My professor told me to quit. And I can't make this up. This literally happened while we were having lunch. But basically, some lady was listening to our conversation from another table and she got up from her table and came to us and she said, you're biomedical engineering? I said, yeah. And she said, don't quit right away. And I said, why? She said, I used to be a biomedical engineer and I couldn't find any job at all. I was pigeonholed. There was no company that would take a biomedical engineer except these bio companies. So what I did was she 
So she decided to go for a master's degree in computer engineering, which was exactly what I wanted to go towards. She did that and she said, as soon as I got that computer engineering degree, right away, I was immediately hired for a company. And I'm not even using the bio parts of my old degree anymore. So that was all a waste. So basically, just avoid all that hassle now, leave, and just go right into computer engineering. So I thought, all the stars lined up. Professor told me, all this data is backing it up, and the lady from the random table told me to switch out of my degree. I'm switching out. So that's how the story is of how I switched out of my biomedical engineering degree. It's really rare to have things like this become so clear in your life, where all the data just becomes immediately apparent to you. But when you see all these things happening, and you see everything becoming clear, then you want to act quickly. And basically, that's what happened for me. You might think to yourself that you have a lot of time, but actually in your college, if you're spending a lot of time deliberating what major you're picking, that could be costing you thousands of dollars at the table. So my advice for you would be to, as soon as you get into college, think seriously about what are the actual uh, salaries that you wanna get out of your degree? What kind of work do you wanna be doing? Think about that right away. And if you can solve that right away, it will help you decide what major you wanna stay in. And you don't want to vaguely think that, oh, I got a degree, it's gonna get me a job, it's gonna make me money. Cause it's not as simple as that. You wanna answer all those questions and then make a decision as quickly as you can, just like me, so you can be out of that bad major from your first semester and be ready to start on to a new path. So with all that said, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.